All right, so in this demonstration, we're going to cover setting label scale visibility ranges. All right, so what we're going to do uh, initially here is to, we're working with a parcel layer, so I'm going to go ahead and select that parcel layer. That activates the feature layer contextual menu item, along with uh, which gives you the appearance labeling data tab. From there, I'll go to the labeling tab. And keep in mind that uh, the default when you're labeling features from a layer is to pull from a field. In this case, that's going to be the owner name field. All right, so you can see that's uh, what we have here for our labels. And um, of course, you can set expressions and SQL clauses here to, to alter the label or what features get labeled. But what we're focusing on in this particular demonstration is this in beyond and out beyond. So these are scale ranges that you can set that will control um, at what scales labels will appear. Right? right now, they're both set to none, which means that uh, regardless of your map scale, which right now is 1 to 8,755, Regardless of that map scale, it's going to label. All right? But there's a lot of times when you, you want to kind of restrict that, um, especially with detailed layers like a parcel layer where you, as you start zooming out further and further, the labeling gets pretty cluttered. There's a lot of labels to draw in, so it can take a lot of time to actually do the labeling. And so it makes sense a lot of times to <clears throat> set some type of uh, scale visibility range uh, to where you're controlling the, the scales at which these labels will draw. So first thing we'll set is uh, out beyond. And you can see that uh, we click the drop down box here. You have a lot of different options. So these are preset options that you can define. Uh, you can also type in a value here. So if you type in a value, that would work fine. Of course, you can set a value. Uh, if you just select one of the items here, we're setting it to one to 50,000. So what this will do is it'll define the, the minimum scale. So this is basically, in other words, once you zoom out beyond 1 to 50,000, it will stop drawing the label. So right now we're 1 to 8,755. That's less than 1 to 50,000. So obviously you know, it's going to continue to label uh, those features at this point. Now you have other options here. Uh, you can set current. So what that will do is it'll look at whatever your current map scale is and it'll set that uh, for your out beyond value. Uh, and then you can customize this as well. So you can add additional uh, values here. And just to kind of show you, you can also type in values here as well. So if I type in 1 to 40,000, hit return, that sets it. Now, so what this does is I zoom out. Uh, it's going to continue to draw these. And really, I probably should have set this at something uh, much smaller than this. So really out beyond about 1 to 15,000. So let's just change that to 1 to 15,000. All right, so it'll still draw at the current scale. But now if I zoom out... Now you'll notice the labels have turned off, right? That's because I'm out beyond 1 to, to 15,000. Now you can also set the in beyond as well. So you might want to define um, an in beyond scale, maybe of 1 to 1,000. So what you've done here is you've defined a range. So in this case, the labels will only draw when they're within the map scale range of 1 to 1,000 and 1 to 15,000. So as I zoom back in, obviously it'll pick back up the labels here, take some time to draw. Labels are back on, so continue to zoom in. Now, once I get inside 1, 000, 1 to 1,000, then those labels will turn off, which might make sense at this point because you're zoomed in so far that maybe it doesn't make any sense. So now I'm inside 1 to 1,000. You can see those labels have been turned off. And that makes sense here because I'm zoomed in so far that it doesn't even, you know, doesn't even register as to what those labels might be. Now it turns back on. All right, so that's, uh, that's setting your uh, scale ranges for your labels. You can also clear these, right? So once you get to a point where you want to clear this, uh, you can hit clear, and that clears everything, resets everything back to its uh, initial values of that. All right, that's it for this time. Thanks for joining me.